Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. What you see here is my makeup basket for the month of October. These were all the products I was playing around with and using and maybe trying to finish. And I did finish quite a few products. If you saw my most recent empties video that went up a couple days ago, you'll see that I actually had one of my biggest makeup empties that I've ever done. So I'll have that linked in the cards or the description box if you haven't seen it yet. And because I did talk about all those products in pretty great detail in that video, I'm going to very quickly skim over them in this one. So I finally, finally used up my Charlotte Tilbury face powder. This is in the shade 1 Fair and this one is done. For most of the time that I used this, I just used it to set my under eyes, so it did take a while to go through. Very excited to have this as an empty. I think I'm going to try to repurpose the packaging for something and put something else in here. And I also finished another powder. This is the Velvetizer by Urban Decay, and I did end up pretty much taking apart all of the packaging to make sure I got everything out of there. <laughs> and then I did hit my goal on some other products. For example, this Becca Berlin highlighter. I unofficially wanted to hit pan on this, and I ended up being able to do that this month. This is such a beautiful highlighter. This was a limited edition product. I don't know if it's available anymore and I did kind of break my personal rule of not really trying to buy um, backups of products. I did end up buying another one of this one just because I knew it was special and that uh, because it is a softer formula there's a possibility that I could use it up someday. So I did buy a backup of this. It's beautiful and I don't feel like it took me too too long to hit pan because it is a more subtle natural highlighter and so I can put it on lots of different places on my face and really pile it up and it's beautiful. I really like it. But because I did hit pan on it, I'm going to put it back and focus on some other highlighters. I also had a goal in my project pan, my 9 by November, um, where I wanted to use this blush 25 times. I did. This is such a gorgeous color. I wish Makeup Revolution would bring this back or bring back a shade very similar to this. It is quite powdery, so keep that in mind, uh, but I just think it's such a beautiful color. I love it. And for my butter bronzer, I did use this a little bit more. I kind of played with a couple other bronzers as well. Um, I did use the Cover FX bronzer quite a bit too this month, even though that's not technically in this drawer. I do have a bronzer in mind that I would like to pull out to play with this month, uh, so I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to put this Laura Geller powder back. I kind of used it to like brighten up my under eyes, not to set my concealer or anything, but just to brighten. And I don't know, I just feel like I don't really know what to do with this product. And I'm just going to put it back because I don't think to reach for it. I don't really have a place for it in my makeup routine right now. So I'm just going to worry about that later. I'm also going to put back this Honey Lipstick from ABH. I ended up playing with a ton of other liquid lipsticks. You'll have seen what I wore um, in my videos. I wore a lot of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks that I have. Um, and just in general trying to use up the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I own. So I didn't really use this that much. I think I might have reached for it once or twice. And I'm just going to put it back. And I'm also going to put back my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is no longer in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project because I hit my goal on my shade here. I used it 30 times and I'm going to put it back. Everything else in here can stay. I've been using all of this stuff very, very consistently. I've been getting a ton of use out of my little highlighter here from Cover FX. I've been mixing it with this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury that I depotted so I could finish it up and use it as a cream blush. Everything else in here I'm going to keep. They're all Project Pan items or products that I'm trying to use a little bit more, so I'm going to hold on to these. Um, this Tardis Mascara. This one I've been using pretty consistently, and I think I'm going to bring in a new mascara to start using once this one is like officially gone. I can definitely see that there's less product on the wand. It takes longer to build up, so it's kind of getting to the end of its life. Uh, so I will bring in another mascara to replace that once this is done. And my palettes over here, I keep them stacked just to save space. I do have a scrunchie there. <laughs> I think I am going to put back the Flutter By palette. I did use it a lot, especially with my Pan Those Eyeshadows uh, Quintet. Um, but I am going to put this back and maybe focus on some other eyeshadows. I'm going to keep the Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute palette. Um, I'm really close to hitting pan on a couple shades in here. I've been using a lot of them in conjunction with my Pan This Eyeshadows Quintet, and I'm going to hold on to it for just a little bit longer. And then I have my three palettes here that are in my Pan This Eyeshadows Quintet. I have the ABH Modern Renaissance, the Too Faced Bonbons, and the Too Faced Natural Nudes. And then I have a couple random singles in here, just full of singles that I've been using either in conjunction with my Quintet or just, you know, because I want to reach for them in general. And then I did have to bring in my second Tarte Eyelash Curler. The other one completely broke on me. Something snapped 
and I couldn't curl my lashes with it anymore so luckily I had a backup. Now I'm going to go through all of my makeup drawers with you and pick out all new stuff to play with for the month of November. Alright so my first drawer is larger eyeshadow palettes and I do have a newer palette in my collection that I haven't had a chance to play with that much yet and that is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. I did use it a ton whenever I first got it but then I was focusing on some other shades and it kind of got pushed to the wayside. So I'm going to pull this out. I think there's a ton of really beautiful shades in here to play with, uh, especially with this time of year. I'm excited to play with this olive shade, um, these cool tones in the bottom, maybe play around with this blue. And I think this will be a great companion palette with the shadows that I'm working on in my Pin Those Eyeshadows project. So I'm gonna pull this out and give it some more love. My next drawer is smaller eyeshadow palettes, and I don't really have anything right now that I'm gonna pull out. Maybe next month I'll play around with this Making Moths palette a little bit more, but I do wanna focus on that Too Faced Natural Lust palette, and I do have a couple other eyeshadow palettes coming in this month, so I'd like to have just a little bit more wiggle room to play around with other eyeshadows that are coming in and the ones that I'm working on in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. So I'm not gonna pull any more out from this drawer. My third drawer is more miscellaneous, single shadows, other like eye products and stuff like that. It's a little bit more of a catch-all drawer. And I do have a new Flower Beauty mascara, the Lash Warrior Princess, uh, that I would be interested to try. But I do have an older mascara that I haven't used yet. And it's this NYX Worth the Hype mascara. If you can see, it still has the plastic seal on it. It's a little mini mascara. I'm actually not sure if it's the full size or not, but it is pretty small. It fits like in my hand, if you can see. And and I got this as a free gift with Purchase Forever Ago and I finally worked through my other mascaras. So this is my oldest one. I'm going to use this once the tartest one runs out. And then once this one is done, I will use the Flower Beauty Mascara. I've been using my Makeup Revolution um, eyeshadow primer for a while. I think I'm going to pull out this ABH one just because I've used that one for so many months. I'm going to pull in my other one just to change things up. And I'm going to pull out my NYX glitter glue because I am still trying to work on a glittery shade in my Pan Those Eyeshadows Quintet. So I'm going to pull this one out to make that one perform even better. I don't really have anything else I want to pull from this drawer so let's move on to the next one. This drawer houses all of my bronzers and my contour powders and blushes. And I do still have those two blushes in my 9 by November project pan. I want to use both of those 25 times. I'm pretty close to hitting my goal on both of those, so I'll focus on those two. And if for some reason I do use them both 25 times and I still have a couple days left in the month, I will pull out this Buxom blush. This one is kind of like a bronzy pink shade. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's in the shade Seychelles. It's really beautiful. I think this will go really nicely with some of the more bronzy warm looks that I'm creating right now. And so this one will be kind of like my backup blush once I hit 25 uses on the other two blushes I'm working on. For bronzer, I did end up putting a ton of work into this Cover Effects bronzer. I wore this a ton over the past month and it was really great for this time of year when I don't have a ton of color. This isn't the most pigmented or dark shade, so it was a really great bronzer color for me. And I think I'm just going to play around with some of my other lighter bronzers that I own. Specifically, I would like to put some more work on this bronzer here from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. I always thought this was like a lighter, more cool toned or neutral bronzer that didn't build too much at first, but then whenever I compared it with using the Cover FX one for so many weeks, this one actually does pack more of a punch. Oops, there's a highlighter in here. <laughs> I'll put that in the next drawer, which is all of my highlighters. So I randomly found this little mini Benefit What's Up highlighter. I must have gotten it as a free gift with purchase or like in a set or something and completely forgot about it. I'm not going to pull it out this month, but I do think I will probably start using it once I finish up the Cover FX liquid drops that I'm working on right now. And I like to use these types of products as a mixer. Uh, just like I used ColourPop Lunch Money, I'll mix it probably with cream blushes to add a little bit more luminosity to it. And I did make a Flower Beauty order last month and I picked up a couple things. And the one I was the most excited about is this Flower Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. This is in the shade Stunner and I haven't used it on my face yet. I've only swatched it, but I remember Sarah Hubbler talking about this and really, really loving it. It's kind of like a clear, glossy type of product, but it's not sticky, not from what I've noticed. And I think this will be really nice to mix with cream blushes again and just play around with. I am going to pull it out and use it a few times just to kind of get a better feel for the formula, but I am going to be focusing on the highlighter drops from Cover Effects 
that I have in my makeup drawer. And I really, really want to push to finish the Mary Luminizer highlighter by the end of the year, so I'm going to mainly focus on that for powder highlighter, so I'm not going to pull anything else out. My second to last drawer is all of my face and base products, and I finally put all of my concealers in one spot, and I didn't even realize that I have like six concealers. I thought I had fewer, but I, I don't, I have six. <laughs> and two that I haven't used in a long time are this Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Almond. Honestly, this is a bit yellow toned, a little bit more yellow than I thought it would be, especially for a name like Almond. I am also going to pull out the 16 Hour Camo Concealer from e.l.f. This is in the shade Light Beige. Once again, this one is a little bit more yellow toned as well, but that's fine. I feel like the yellow tones do kind of cancel out the purples I have under my eyes, and if I blend them out with a sponge and set them with a more neutral color or lighter powder, then it actually looks fine. So I'm going to play with those a little bit more this month. I did buy a couple more flower products. This is their mattifying powder, and look at this packaging. This is ridiculous. I don't even know if the camera is going to pick it up, but look how giant this packaging is for just this little bit amount of powder. I don't know, and it's like a pain in the butt to get this back on. It just seems like a lot. I'm not a fan. I might pull this out in some future months, but I really do want to use my Too Faced setting powder a little bit more. This is the ethereal version. I did use this last month as well after I finished up the Velvetizer from Urban Decay, and it's not my favorite setting powder, so I would just like to just use it. Um, I don't need something that's super mattifying right now because the cooler months I'm not as greasy throughout the day, so I'm going to pull this out for this time of year and just see how much I can use it. And then I did finish the Charlotte Tilbury powder that I was using to set my under eyes, so I'm going to pull out this Besame Violet powder. I'm having trouble finding this on the website. I don't know if it just wasn't in stock whenever I was looking, but they said Violet powder on the website, and then when you click on it, it's the Rose powder, which is kind of a pinky undertone. So I don't know if this is like on its way out or what, but I'm going to start using this to set my under eyes now that the Charlotte Tilbury powder is gone. I did also pick up the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Spray. I haven't used this on my face yet or haven't used it like all day. And I do kind of want to save these newer products for a video that I want to do this month where I do um, all first impressions or just trying out new makeup that I've picked up recently. And I'm still waiting for a couple things to come in the mail, so I'm not going to use this right away, but I will feature it in a video sometime this month. And I think that's everything for this drawer. The very last drawer is my lip products, and I did end up loving wearing this shade from Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Campfire. This is kind of like a burnt brick red. It's beautiful. I loved it. I wore it in my How Many Times I've Used Eyeshadows with Pan video, and I think it looked really nice. I always bring these Dose of Colors shades out during this time of year and love them. So I'm going to pull this one out. I'm also going to pull out Nabla Sweet Gravity. This is kind of like a more cool toned orangey version of Campfire. And I think that these will go really nicely with the looks that I'm going to create this month. And what the heck, I'm going to bring in this gloss. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in the shade Amber. It's a really nice peachy, very, very... A pigmented very bright lip gloss and I think this will go nicely with some looks too so I'll pull this out. Now let's look at everything all together in my makeup drawer. Okay so that is everything in my makeup drawer. I am going to quickly pull out the foundations that I'm working on to show you really quick. I am working on two Smashbox 15 hour wear Studio Skin Foundations. They're in different shades. I use this one when I want something that matches my skin tone and then this one when I need to deepen up a lighter foundation. And I'm also playing around with my Urban Decay Naked Skin and my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. The Pure Foundation is a bit thick and a little bit light, so I do use other foundations to either thin out the formula or make it a little bit deeper to match my skin tone. So I'm just like playing around with different combinations depending on what I want for that day. So I, I know four foundations might seem a bit excessive, but I am reaching them for them for different occasions. And then I do have a couple sunscreens that I want to finish up this month as well. They're both from Supergoop. They're just minis that came in like a little set I bought a while ago. I have the Supergoop SPF 50 Everyday Lotion and then the Defense Refresh, which is a spray. I did end up putting the spray in this little mini Mario, De Mario Badescu bottle because the spray on this one is all clogged up. And so I assume I'll have these two done by the end of the month. And that is everything I'll be playing with in November. Please stay tuned for that full face of new makeup or trying new makeup products video that'll come up probably towards the middle or end of this month. 
Let me know if you've tried this Flower Beauty product. I'm not really sure of how I'm going to use it because I don't love just using cream products. I like to be able to set them with powder or mix them with other products so that they're not so sticky or creamy on my skin. I like to have kind of like a dry <laughs> finish on my skin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm not really sure how I'm going to make this work because from the way Sarah Hubbler wears it, I think she just puts it on her cheeks and doesn't set it and I don't really want to do that. So I'll have to see some ways to use it, but if you have any tips, please let me know. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.